Hey everybody, I am so excited that spring is here and summer will be shortly following. I can't wait to be able to get outside and get some more fresh air. But a lot of the people here in the Northeast or around the country, if you're not from the deep South, don't have air conditioning in their homes. So I thought I would talk today on 12 tips on how to keep your house cool in the summer on the cheap. So the first one is if you do have a more uh, humid area that you live in, just put a dehumidifier in. Just by sucking that moisture out of the air, your house is gonna automatically feel more comfortable um, by doing that. Number two is you're going to reduce the light or the sunlight that comes in your house. Um, that one I actually have a little bit of a problem with because I love natural light. So I don't like closing the blinds and I don't like closing the curtains to keep that natural light out. But you can diffuse it, you know, put um, maybe some sheer curtains up or you know maybe just tilt the blinds so that the the sunlight doesn't come right in or maybe even some of that reflective uh, material that you can put right on your windows themselves to help reflect that light instead of absorbing it so those are some tips on, on keeping the sunlight out without drowning the sunlight out um, number three this one you know should go without saying but it amazes me how many people don't do it turn off your lights. <laughs> lights produce heat. And you know, if you can make sure you switch the old incandescent lights to the LED lights, they don't put off as much heat. But if you don't need the light, turn it off so that you're reducing that uh, load there. And be smart about your doors. If it's this is number four, if it's cooler inside than it is outside, keep your doors closed, keep that cool air in. Uh, one of the things that as a, as I go into houses, vacant houses, especially in the winter, the houses are actually colder on the inside than they are on the outside because our houses these days are very well insulated. So the same is true in the summer. You know, if you've got that cooler air trapped in there, keep it trapped in there. Don't keep opening the doors and letting letting the, the hotter air in. Number five is don't cook inside. Um, you know, obviously you need to make meals. So if you do have to cook, maybe do it during the cooler part of the day, late in the evening, early in the morning, so that your stove isn't running or your, your cooktop isn't running in the heat of the day. Or better yet, get outside and get fresh air yourself and barbecue up on the grill out there. Number six is create cross ventilation by opening windows or doors on the opposite side of the house so that the wind can blow through. If you only open one door or one window, that wind, you know, that air only has so many places to go right there in the confines of, of your house. But if you open windows or doors on both sides, it can go all the way through. It obviously helps if there's a breeze. Um, number six, seven is set your ceiling fans to go counterclockwise. And what that does is it pulls the hot air up and blows it toward the ceiling instead of pushing it down toward you. Pretty cool, huh? Um, number eight, and I didn't actually know this, I was doing some research on this topic, is point your box fans to go out of the window instead of in. So by sucking the air and pushing it out, it pushes the hot air out instead of giving you this fake breeze of hot air. Pretty cool, huh? Um, number nine, I had also never thought of this one, but it's make use of your kitchen and your bathroom vent fans because those suck up the hot air and blow it out of your house. And not only in the rooms that they're in, but if you, you know, for, if it's in your bathroom and leave the door open and it sucks all the air from the hallways or the bedrooms that are nearby as well. Number 10 is do your laundry and ironing at the earlier or later parts of the day when it's cool out. You know, if you run your dryer, that's just like the kitchen. It, it creates that hot air. So you could also put your clothes out to dry outside and dry them on a line, which saves electricity, which saves you money, and it reduces the heat inside of your house. Um, number 11, this one was actually pretty cool. Apparently they did this in the olden times before air conditioners were ever invented. And I thought, what a cool idea. You can actually take a, a water bottle, a spritzer and make your drapes or your curtains wet. And then when you open the door, not wet, damp. And then when you open the door, if there's a breeze, um, you could even maybe even put a little essential oil in the spray bottle to make them smell good. And the, the wind blows and then the dampness actually makes your house feel cooler. Kind of like when they used to put a, a bowl of ice in the room and then they blow a, or put a fan on it and it would blow the coolness through the room. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then number 12, last but not least, is let the night air in. So at night, you know, it's, it's cooler. Crack your windows, you know, on, on our windows, you wanna make sure that you're safe. On our windows, we have the little um, latches that kind of come out so you can only open the window to a certain point, maybe a couple of inches so that nobody can get in because you wanna stay safe. 
Um, but if you have those, you know, open up your windows and let that fresh air in. And the other benefit to that is because our houses are so well insulated these days, you know, we use cleaning products and there's all sorts of, you know, stuff on our uh, furniture that puts off toxins and everything. Sometimes our the air inside the house can actually be more toxic than the outside air. So by opening up the windows and letting that fresh air in, it's multi-purpose. It lets the cool air in, keeps your house cool in the summer, and also makes it a healthier environment for you to live in. Signature home buyers, we buy your house for cash, easy and fast.